Hey guys, it's Saturday and um, I'm taking the time to go to the store today. I want to get some t-shirts so I can tie-dye if I have the time. Uh, I'm going to try to make time, but we're also going to be painting the Studio Ghibli paintings that I started the other day. Uh, I didn't actually paint anything yet, but I did pick some scenes that um, I wanted to paint from Howl's Moving Castle. So stay tuned and we'll get going soon. So, yay! <laughs> Okay, so we decided to do two different um, tie-dye designs. We have the reverse tie-dye, which is why we have the darker t-shirts. And then we also are doing regular tie-dye. Um, so we have the color dye. And you can actually pick these up at Walmart. They're pretty cheap. And they're super fun to do. Um, the bleach tie-dye shirts you can do if you have just an old t-shirt laying around. Doesn't matter what color it is. Preferably a darker t-shirt because you'll have better results. And just whatever bleach. I just used regular linen bleach that we had on hand. Um, and it came out really cool. It was a fun project to do. I definitely recommend it. Also, I wanted to show you guys this stray cat who lives by my house. She's literally the sweetest thing ever and I still don't have a name for her. So if you have any suggestions, drop them in the comments. I absolutely adore her. She's so sweet. Um, she definitely wanted to be a part of our video. She's, she's so cute. We love her to death. Okay, so that's all the time we really have for today. Um, I'm pretty much just finishing the sketch for the painting and then I'm gonna use my oils in the next video and um, you'll see the finished piece. Stay tuned. <laughs> 